all right what is going on youtube today we're going to be doing another market watch and if you have watched the last one that i do i use Yu Gi Oh prices because this is what i personally use to buy all my cards because i do find some deals and i do find them cheaper than everywhere else i don't buy off of ebay and uh tcg players always acting funky when i'm trying to buy some shit so i don't use those i usually just buy off of amazon but yeah like i said i use this and i've actually made some deals like remember when that one card doomstar Mag i don't know if how long you guys have been playing but doomstar magician shot the fuck up and then i seen it like online for like 99 cents and i bought three of them end up selling them for some profit so i mean yeah like i said this is why i use this all the time now all the <clears throat> not all the time they're going to be the exact same prices but like i said all you have to do is click it's not really too hard to just click on the damn thing and go check it out so yeah um and before we start the video i would like to say that um if you guys do enjoy it leave a like leave a comment also subscribe if you have not already I upload a minimum of three videos a week so you guys definitely can look forward to that and also if you guys can click an ad or two or three to help support the channel which would be very helpful and i'll appreciate it very much so without further ado let's get straight into the video and what i want to start the video off with is a, a thing where um a card actually i have found for 99 cents no kid look look at this shit 99 cents i know what you're saying always doing that dumb shit again right so look here we go 99 fucking cents but as you can see i already have one in my thing right as you can see 99 cents right here i could buy it secret rare first in near mint dark illusion right but i go to this and i can't buy unless i have a dollar or more and so i say okay i go buy anything from the, and he only has this up or she has this up so it's like fuck there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. He doesn't have any other cards. Any other card he has, or the person or the seller has, is literally like over expensive. Like a floodgate is fifty dollars and shit like that. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, this is why I use this because <clears throat> this is exactly why I use Yugo practice because sometimes you, you find shit like this, but there's really nothing else I can do about it. It is a twenty-four dollar card, so getting it for down that cent would have been cool. But TTG player says you you have to buy something for a dollar. And that really much sucks. And this is why I don't really use everything else because, you know, it's always something different. And TT Bay is always fucking me. So, <clears throat> yeah, let's get back to the top 100. I want to speed through this because this is not, it doesn't, it didn't really change over the last uh, week. It's only a, some of the, some of the cards that have changed, but I do want to get into the purchase, purchase statistics, pretty much what the players are buying or what Yu-Gi-Oh! prices have recorded over the last week, which is very very telling of our um, game. So as you can see, Dimensional Bear actually sixty four dollars. This shit was sixty nine when I was uh, on here earlier. Sixty four dollars. This must have just been posted. It had to be just been posted. Look at this, sixty four fucking dollars right now. Sixty five dollars. Bam. Buy it right now. Get you a Dimensional Bear for sixty five dollars. Lower than the rest of the market. There you go. You you seen it here first. Um, everything else is around seventy dollars. So. Yeah, there you go. If you're really looking for one, get one right there for $65. Crystal Wing, Secret Dragon, and Poker, Pot of Desires, and I think Side Front Lord Omega is the couple of cards I do want to talk about. Um, <clears throat> Crystal Wing, Secret Dragon was 70 last week, I would believe. Uh, right now, 62. Wait, that's a little, wait, is that lower than what this is? Yeah, look, 62. Right there. Bam, 62, 97, 62, 67. You've seen here first. This is actually the card I've seen earlier. Um, but it, it wasn't po it wasn't on Yu-Gi-Oh prices, but I guess it has to update. It, uh, it updates, so there you go. Bam, sixty-two dollars. You can find that the cheapest Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon on the market that is listed, not you know just somebody saying that they'll sell it to you for sixty. But I would advise you buying it from somebody from sixty because the the the, the hype can die down depending on how DDDs do next week. So um, you may hold off if you need Crystal Wing to if you're going to buy to Seattle and you need Crystal Wing, buy it because um you never know what you might do because if you win bam if you win with that fucking deck and you be like oh crystal wing is the best card that card is going to shoot up you can sell it do what you got to do even if you don't do good sell it at the event while they're still high get your money back so or get like five less dollars so pretty much you spent five dollars for a fucking crystal wing that's pretty much what you you know pretty much do look one has been purchased for 42 dollars that is crazy. That was in the last 30 days. We're going to prick see more. We're going to see when did... Wait, no, that's not what we wanted to go on. I thought it was going to show this. But, um, yeah, M. Saber and Volker, uh, I believe this was $52. When I took somebody already bought it. This shit was $52 earlier. 
Somebody, this shit was fifty-two dollars. Cause I, I remember I kept clicking on this because I did try to record this video earlier, but it was way too long. It was around twenty minutes, and I'm not gonna sit there and put that on you guys for twenty minutes to watch a market watch. Um, but yeah, it was fifty-two dollars earlier. Somebody bought it. There's nothing really we can do about that now. So if you guys need one, the next cheapest is sixty bucks. Pot of desires. 5707 somebody has already sniped this one out too but it was $55 but this one is $40 in free shipping so I mean there you go you can buy one for $40 and I, oh it's used so I maybe not near mint but it says near mint so I, I don't I don't know really what to do with that I don't buy from fucking um what's the name I don't buy from eBay so that is not something I should be telling you guys about but yeah you get one for $40 or you know $61 depending on how you feel about the seller and then we're going to a uh, cypher mode of mega which is 56 dollars over here and as you can see it's 56 dollars which you can buy right now this is cypher mode of mega for 31 dollars, but you have to place a bid so you can't buy it now okay so i get this is 45 dollars right now oh you can buy it now for 60 okay that that's not pretty good what else can we find anything cheaper than 60 this is 56 um, you can buy it right now if it's 56 um Anything cheaper than that, I don't think we're going to find one. No, not at all. It's not going to be any cheaper than that. So, yeah. Um, $31. You, you can wait on it. Place a bid or whatnot. That's an Orca. Don't even go over there. Uh, 45 Like I said, so the cheapest one is what? This one. Plus free shipping. So, you save one cent. So, yeah. There you go. You can save one cent. So, thanks to this video, you guys have seen all of these. you also seen the Cosmic Cyclone. I could have got for a dollar. But, you know, you can't. So, yeah. Um, that is it. Nothing else really changes throughout the thing. So <clears throat> this is document. This is basically my fu the fun part of the video because you can see uh, what the people are buying, and the uh, <clears throat> you can see what the people are buying because of what's happening over the past week or what they've seen on YouTube over the past week. Don't understand why this is happening. Maybe in Raging Tempest there's a card coming out that a uh, fire card in that helps them out. So you could definitely uh, buy one of these cards. Hold on, real quick. All right. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> I had to help my daughter real quick, but yeah, so if, I don't know why somebody bought the flower card. 145 of them. I don't, maybe it's something I don't know. I definitely don't know. Flying seed. This was at 10. Um, the last hour, somebody's already bought three more. This card is very good. If you did see my video about Zodiacs <clears throat> and counters to it, don't quit. Just play these counters. Flying seed is a good counter against that deck. And another thing I do want to talk about is just... Lights one stuff are going to go up because I believe at least one to two. I think my guess is a minimum of two is going to top YCS Seattle. The Lawn Morning Next Door Lights One deck is going to top. I know at least two. At least two. That's my bet. I, I just bet it. So Lights One stuff, I think it's going to be on the rise. Um, as you can see, Billy Break was playing Blue Eyes. So you're going to see a whole shitload of Blue Eyes stuff. I don't know why Gadar is being bought. Maybe because it's a level seven. And not a lot of people can use level sevens, which um, I pretty much picked up on, so that's why I played it. Um, you can buy Kamungus. I think that's the, the level seven earth one, and it's two, it's 300 less defense, so you can definitely do that. But um, yeah, this is a good card because I think Kamungus is expensive now, so I think this may be the next kaiju that just randomly goes out because at first it was Gamma Seal. Uh, Gamma Seal, I believe, is still expensive. Then it was Kamungus, and then it's probably going to be this because <clears throat> they're always just going up randomly. Um, so yeah, like I said with the blue eye stuff, look, uh, Dragon Shrine, Ancient, Sage, uh, Blue Eye Spirit Dragon, stuff like that. This is a thirty dollar card now because of how many people are buying them. I believe. Yeah, look, thirty dollars for a fucking Sage of White, like that is this Sage with eyes of blue, like that's crazy. I don't understand why Green Baboon is being bought. There must be some deck that I don't understand, or is this you know somebody buying it just to pick some up? Dragon Spirit of White, Unexpected Die. I don't know why this is being bought. Also, that's XQ out. You're always trying to pop up when I'm recording. Um, but hey, if you can get, I mean, this is a, this was an expensive card, right? The super? I don't know. I don't, I never checked. Okay, where's the kind of, where's the super at? Super rare is $1.12. Oh, I thought they were more expensive than that. So yeah, if you have a normal deck, play that. We are, I think that normal stuff is maybe coming out next set. I don't know. That's probably why people are buying this. Um, D Dude's Forest Line, this doesn't come in a uh, structure deck, so the I can see why this is being bought. They're a dollar a piece. Um, like I said, more blue eyes stuff, masterpiece. And the last time we seen it was like 32 being bought, six is more have been bought. 
over the last week. Twin Twisters, Six has been bought. Genghis um, doesn't come in a structure deck. Melody, Gofu, I don't understand why Gofu is getting bought. Formula, yeah. Flower Gathering, like I said. I don't understand the whole Flower Cardian things. But <clears throat> some people are picking them up. Alternative. Um, anything else that is surprising? Uh, Protractable Eyes Blue trade in. Not really surprising. Pot of Desire. Somebody went and go ahead and bought three. Went, went ahead and just bought three. So, yeah, I, I told everybody to wait, but hey, he's doing it. This is a good card because I've seen this. Like I said, I did try to record, but it was a little, you know, too long. This video, I mean, this card right here, it says target of X. Basically, what it does is you target an XYZ monster, you put it back in the deck, and then they get the material. So, if you use it on a Zodiac, that's been like, if you go like, uh, if you do it at the right time, you can just put the Zodiac and they can't get nothing back because um, I don't know if Momrat's still going to be on there, but like, if you can do it on a. Uh, you can do it on a Tigris and put it back, and then like they can't go Tigris again, and it'll get like a Momorat back if Momorat's on there, um, you know. Or you could uh, if they do, they did they, if they synchro something. I mean X Y Z over a Wild Bow, you could do it then, and Wild Bow won't come back because it was not properly summoned. Um, so I believe that's the way they're ruling. I don't know if they're ruling it like that, but that should happen. And then even if. If you do it on like a whole harbinger, he can't negate it. If you do it on anything else, they get all they get the monsters back, but um, they do get reduced by one. So, I mean, they won't be able to go back into it. But you know, you really just use it on your turn, um, and sometimes like on your opponent's turn. Like, like I said, you could, they, they can't be respond to it, so that is pretty good. You could do it like on a Utopia or some shit like that. Um, and yeah, that'd be pretty good. So yeah, there's only a dollar right now. I definitely will pick at least three of them up. Um, what else? Uh, is anything else? Super polymerization. I really believe that this may come off the list because of the fusion enforcers. So, yeah, that might be a good pickup for a couple of people who did buy those. White stone, like I said, instant fusion. I don't agree with, but hey, I guess. Ties of the brethren. You know, like I said, people are going to pick up. Left arm orphan is like 10 bucks right now. So if you guys are playing this deck or plan on playing this deck, pick those up. Coral dragon is at eight or something like that. That is pretty crazy. Pick those up. Armageddon Knight is a dollar, which is like the cheapest I've ever seen it. Because any other time I wanted to play Armageddon Knight, the motherfucker was like three or four dollars. So that is pretty good. A lot of people are buying Abyss Actor stuff, which is crazy. Chain Disappearance. Hold on, real quick. Yeah, the uh, what was I talking about? I think I was talking about Chain Disappearance. Chain Disappearance is a good card because it does, you know, it can just pretty much get rid of the whole Zodiac engine. You, when they summon it, bam, do this. They, they really have nothing else to do. And it gets rid of the monster on the board. So if they did normal summon, that's pretty much done for them. There's no more Momorant you have to worry about. Um, you know, a lot of Abyss actors are being bought, which is, I don't know, maybe that may be telling. And here goes all the Flower Cardian stuff. So I think they are getting the Synchro in the new set. I think they are. Dark Hole, which has only been three of them bought, which is surprising. It only been three bought. There should be a lot more, but a lot of people already have Dark Hole, so it's not really too much of a big deal. And to uh, top it off, I guess, where art thou for the um, DDD deck, which is a pretty good card. Uh, and somebody used Pendulum Rising against me, which is crazy. So, yeah, that is it for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, um, leave a like. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, do you want me to, like, change it up? Do you want me to do something different? I do probably want to do the, uh, what is it? Uh, what is it? Did I say top 100? Yeah, this is what I do want to do. Uh, I'm probably gonna do this video like throughout the week. Is that uh, like go through like the commons rare, secret rare, super rare, ultra rare? You know, just see the different type of cards that are you know very expensive, which is crazy because commons, um, it's it's it, it, it's 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 out there. Like the commons are out there in the top 100. But yeah, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you have not already. Um, and also click an ad or three to help support the channel, which would be very helpful. And I appreciate you guys for it. So, yeah, that has been today's Market Watch. And I will see you guys. Hopefully, I do get to go to Sneak Peek later. So, um, if I do get to go to Sneak Peek, you guys are definitely going to see um, a Sneak Peek opening. And if not, then I will see you guys on Monday. And, yeah, that is it for today. Thank you, guys.